We're going, Marty. We don't need Rose. Hey, how's it going? How's everybody out there in YouTube land and all the other ships at sea? Today we're going to do a test flight. And we're going to uh, see how far, how fa fast, and how uh, and we're and how competent we are at trying to learn how to fly this thing here. A couple of years back, I'd actually picked up a DJI Phantom drone because I had ambitions of being able to use some really good establishing shots, get some good flyovers, and use it in my event videography business. And what ended up happening is I got it home, and before I opened the box, I was smart, and I looked up the uh, laws, and I found out apparently Transport Canada has become very draconian and has not allowed anybody to uh, fly their drones without getting a pilot's license. So yeah, you would buy a $500 drone, but then you'd have to get government certification uh, to run it. So you'd have to take a course, you'd have, <laughs> you'd have to read a big thick manual, and ultimately it was a whole bunch of red tape. Now I do understand why they did that, because a whole bunch of idiots are gonna fly the drones at the airports. But generally, uh, my intention was only to get uh, uh, quick aerial shots of some of the events I was doing, not even fly over the... I just discovered recently that uh, Mavic, Mavic had just introduced this little bad boy right here. So, a lot of other people will say it fits into your pocket. Uh, I guess it would if you wanted to bend the propellers. But generally, this thing is uh, basically about the size of a phone, maybe a little thicker. And uh, as you see, it... Uh, folds out here. Now the real advantage of uh, this guy right here, the real advantage that you're going to find is this guy is only 249 grams. What that means is that he falls under the uh, radar for Transport Canada rules on drones so you can actually fly this without a fully fledged pilot's license. I'm still restricted in Vancouver because uh, Vancouver itself is still a complete no-fly zone for any type of things. There's so many aerodromes and so many hospitals with helipads in the neighborhoods that Vancouver itself is just right off. So I had to go to Burnaby, but then once we were there, we were able to take off. This is what it looked like. <laughs> One eternity later. some fun doing this uh flying right beside me like a good little uh minion so it's my flying assassin droid talk to your doctor to find out if flying assassin droid is right for you uh initial thoughts the initial calibration was a pain in the ass but uh once it was flying it was actually quite a lot of fun what's that what is that what is that that is a obviously it's a vacuum cleaner this one it's a vacuum cleaner this one that would be a, a drone Hi. Oh, Hi. I saw you. Yes, <laughs> yes I was. You flying. Wait, yes, that, this is the first a, time. It has a camera on it. It does. Wow. wow. And this is the first time I've actually flying it. Oh. You're literally getting the inaugural flight. I didn't see it. What's that? I didn't see it. Flying. All right. Well, hold on. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> 
Can it go up to the sky? Yeah, I don't want to get it too high because then the wind will blow it away and I'll lose it. <laughs> oh, you got so high. Okay, here, take a look. Telling you the battery's about to die. Yeah. <laughs> and if, I, if the battery dies, it just drops on the right brake. Then I have. Uh, I have well, thanks for that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so as you see, I flew it for the kids to, uh, so the kids could enjoy it. Unfortunately, I, I couldn't control it while watching out for the kids while trying to figure out this whole thing. So it's going to take some practice. I'm going to be uh, doing this for a while. Uh, actually, I'm not because the battery just died. Uh, technically, I had two extra batteries, but I'm just tonight is just an inaugural uh, flight to, to test it out and see how it is. And uh, yeah, I think this is going to become part of my regular kit. Yeah, it, it was quite a lot of fun to, to fly and to get some aerial shots. Sadly, I picked a park that uh, had a giant tree, <laughs> a giant tree in the center, which means that I was, when I finally got over the tree, I couldn't physically see the drone anymore, so I kind of had to bring it back down. One of the drawbacks is, of course, I'm a big ass nerd and uh, I'm used to WASD keys and a mouse uh, for third first person shooters and a lot of video games and the the controller is absolutely nothing like that so unfortunately it was a little hard to get the handle of of this thing right here also when it would turn around and I would be facing away so it was hard left was right up was down dogs and cats living together total anarchy one of uh, one more design flaw is I bought this kit uh, it's called the fly more combo it comes with uh, three batteries the controller and uh, well, batteries for the the Mavic itself. Unfortunately, they didn't give any extra batteries for the controller. The controller itself has a battery that drains. And while you might have lots of batteries for the batteries for the uh, Mav the drone itself, you're actually going to have almost nothing for the uh, the controller itself. So the the controller is going to run out of batteries before the drone will. Yeah, you're not really going to be able to. Uh, uh, fly that so as a temporary solution. I did pick up a, uh, a Power bank so between flights. I'm going to be able to charge recharge the uh, controller off the powder uh, the power bank uh, the colors a problem uh, Because you're going to be flying this on a cloudy or bright day and it's white against a white sky is it's really hard to see I'd spray paint this black if I didn't blow my warranty out of the water uh, they should have made this a darker color. That's one thing I would say, but I did add these uh, Reflective tape pieces. So if it ever does get lost, I can find it in tall grass The quality of the image for the microscopic camera that it is. It's actually quite good It's uh, comparable to most GoPros have actually used in the past. It's not uh, DSLR quality, but I don't think this thing could lift off the ground with DSLR quality. I'm sure that's what the Mavic Pro is Unfortunately, the Mavic Pro is also probably a couple of pounds in, a couple thousand dollars, and of course, I then have to deal with the uh, Transport Canada weight regulations on the drone. So that's going to be a bit of a bit of an issue. So I think this is the best quality image I'm going to be able to get without going through the whole rigmarole. I would say that I was getting better shots out of dolly shots and flyovers and follows but I did find that the barrel distortion in the actual lens itself, the barrel distortion meant that most panning shots, the barrel distortion meant most panning shots uh, just didn't look that good. So unfortunately, the barrel distortion kind of threw the panning shots out the window. I'll know that for next time. It was a good thing to find out on my maiden flight that those are not the types of shots I want out of this. A lot of crane shots were good, a lot of uh, flybys were good, 
elevation shots were good and uh, the other the quick shots that are actually part of the software were actually pretty decent I did like them such as the uh, the drony or the rocket or the uh, helix which are flight modes that are built in <laughs> I almost lost this drone in the tree doing a helix because I was so focused on the drone I just didn't notice the tree so I had to do an emergency stop so I didn't lose the guy but the shot looked good I can say the shot looked good but again the barrel distortion on the lens means panning shots rotating shots don't look good I also find that because it has such a jerky motion that there's no real smoothness you gonna I'm gonna have to practice for smoothness on that so there we have, uh, that's some feedback that I can give you off my first initial uh, maiden flight. And uh, you tell me what you think uh, in the comments below, right down there. And uh, what I'll do is I will take them to heed. If you've got any suggestions or comments or what have you, I'd love to hear them. Again, this was my maiden flight and we don't really know what's going to be next. Okay, so that was my final thoughts on that. So we'd like to th thank you for flying DocuMonkey TV and flying with me today. And uh, I will see you on the next one. Peace.